So there's something specific that I want to talk to you about today and it has to do with this property. Hey, welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a smile on your face because today is a beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, look at this place is amazing. The view is incredible. We are staying here at our friend's house and they have this huge house and they have this amazing property up on the hill and it's arguably probably one of the best properties in this whole entire valley. I mean, it's amazing. We haven't been to a ton of the other properties here, but I mean, the view, I mean, it's just amazing. seen the the place you've seen how amazing it is and basically it comes down to generosity and so we all have different material possessions in life we all have different uh, financial status um, and so we have a wide variety of demographics you know everyone that's watching uh, these videos um, there are people who have a lot and there's people who have a little um, in the sense of what ever comes to your mind when I say that I actually believe that we all have a lot and we all have something to give even if it's something really small and so the couple that owns this house you know they could keep this house to themselves but instead uh, there is a local uh, nonprofit organization and they've basically opened their home to this organization and they've allowed them to come up and use their house um, every week uh, you know they have meetings up here and this is kind of a space where the people who are involved in that organization can come up here and, and meet and relax and have respite and it's just really cool to see them using their house in a way you know they're they're giving their property um, in a way even though they're keeping their property but they're they're practicing hospitality and it's a way for them to give and so downstairs um, there's this giant space uh, that was just kind of open and so they kind of turned it into a big meeting area and uh, there's an octoball court down there I don't know if you've ever seen one of those but it's basically like a giant octagon and it's kind of like wall ball four square and dodgeball all combined in this octagon ring so look up octoball if you if you've never uh, played it before but they built an octoball court and they put it downstairs in their basement um, actually there were two guys that came here today and uh, I helped them take down the octoball court because they're gonna go um, take it to this other event uh, in the valley and it's just cool it's cool to see them using their place for good <laughs> Now, I 
personally, I grew up um, in a, a log home. Uh, it was a very large home, um, bigger than what Taylor and I would need if we were to to buy a home or build a home. And um, and and now that my mom and Charlie they live in that house, they do the same thing with their house. Uh, they they allow people to come and stay there who need a place to stay. People who are in transition, they come and go. Um, it's just really cool to see people using their homes in that way to be able to give. And this evening we're going to, um, it's kind of like a celebration barbecue uh, for the nonprofit that I was talking about. And so there's gonna be kids there and stuff tonight. And um, before we even have gone there, uh, a couple of the guys told me that this is another like amazing property, another amazing home that this family has opened up and allowed others to use and yeah i just wanted to be able to share that today um that even if you have little you can still give and there should never be this mindset of like oh once i get more then i'll give and taylor and i have been challenging ourselves with the same concept you know we're we're living out of our truck and we're still we're still trying to give and we're still trying to be generous and to go out of our way to love others well i don't i'm not saying that like hey look at us look at how amazing uh we're doing or look at how good we are or, or whatever i'm i'm just trying to be a positive influence on here and i'm trying to impact uh you in a positive way and i think if i'm able to do that with this channel and as we grow and we have more people watching um there's going to be a bigger shift um, in our world and and that's going to be a good thing you know and you have an opinion you have uh, advice and i want to hear it i want to hear what you have to say how you have been generous and other ideas you have leave them in the comment section down below let's just kind of start a discussion about um, ways to be generous and um, do you let people stay at your house if you have an extra room or um, empty nesters you know families that have had two or three kids and now their kids have grown up and they're gone and now they have this big house like what are you what are you doing with that home um, and so yeah that's my challenge for today that's my video topic for today um, I definitely wanted to show you this property they have uh, this personal orchard private orchard that goes around their property and um, the couple that live here, they're actually involved in um, some of the bigger orchards in this area. And New to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you stick around. You just gotta push that subscribe button all the way in and then ring the bell so that you get notified. And if you didn't know, there's a huge thumb war going on on YouTube right now, so click that thumb war button down below, help us out, and we'll see you later. Hats off to you.